Hey everyone, for a couple of months now, I have been using AI to edit my photos. Now, this is from Aftershoot, it's called Aftershoot Edits. When it officially comes out, it's gonna be a monthly subscription, so you're not gonna be paying per image, and it's fantastic, so let's take a look. Okay, so this is the Aftershoot window with profiles. Now, instead of you putting in a preset on an image, and then manually going through in Lightroom and adjusting every single image, you can create an AI profile. Now, when you create an AI profile, give it a name, you select the image type, and you can upload as many images as you like. Um, I uploaded 20, yeah, 24,932 photos. Um, these are smart previews. So from Lightroom, you, when you create smart previews, Aftershoot Edits actually reads your Lightroom catalog and then it will base your profile off the ones you've edited. Um, say like if you've marked them five star or you've marked them flag, you can select the ones you want to be part of your profile. So after about 12 hours, my profile came back. So now I've got an example wedding. Um, I chucked in a few files into Aftershoot. Now I can click edit. I'll select my base profile up the top. Adobe Color, because that is the pitch profile I'd like Adobe Lightroom to use. Crop and straighten, I want them on. Aftershoot's AI is brilliant for this. Um, it's just fantastic. Uh, okay, so now I'll go to select my catalog. I'm gonna select the 2023 catalog, because if I always have one catalog for a year, um, some people like to have a catalog for each wedding, but it's just, I don't understand why that's needed. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna continue. Now it's just gonna find this folder where it has smart previews because of it's the only folder in there. And now I'm gonna select all. Select all so you can have filters and you can, I haven't done any filters with these images apart from green. Okay, so 971 photos. I've got the timer up, ready? Let's go, edit. Generating previews, start. Timer. So what happens now is Aftershoot finds your smart previews and then it processes them. Um, what happens is it reads your profile you've created. So if you've got backlit photos, it will see how you've edited them, how you've dealt with that lighting scenario. And then it will use some crazy algorithm to like interpret how you would edit in the future. And what I found, it's really, really good. Um, it's editing better than I can edit. Um, most of the time, it's just only tiny little adjustments I need to make. Moving forward though, after shoot is brilliant because of um, it learns from the changes you make. So after you edit a wedding, you can click improve profile a day or two later. It'll come back and it'll be better than ever. Okay, so I'll put the timer there, catch you when it's done. Okay, so that took 11 minutes and 14 seconds. Even I'm pretty impressed by that. Uh, what we do, click review in Lightroom. Um, oh no, it's because of I've already just opened up Lightroom now. Um, what will happen is, now you can see all my images before were totally blank. So they were totally like that. And then now, They've edited nicely. So you can see it's slightly cropped in. Nice. Um, normally I probably would I edit slightly cooler, but I actually I would think that's good, quite, quite nice. Really, really mixed lighting. So that's obviously natural light. So that's what it was before. Normally with my preset, it would be like that. I and mean, then I'd brighten it up a little bit. That is beautiful. That's really nice. And then now you can, so then that obviously, that's probably a little bit too warm, but it saved me so much time. Um, if I zoom through here, like you can see, that's obviously quite backlit. So it was that, and that has controlled it quite nicely. Um, so my preset's quite a warm preset. 
so it works really well outside uh, but not as well inside which is why I have an indoor preset so you can see the example here outdoors it, indoors just cools it down quite a lot but I'm quite impressed with this uh, normally so if reset this once again that's what it was going to be like my edit would have been too red that really really nice cropping like really nice cropping and it's kind of made it a bit more level as well let's go through let's go through a bit more couples portraits brighten that up nicely it was kind of like a, a weird day where it was really cloudy but the light was still really harsh somehow um, I'm sure you've all experienced something like that before um, okay so indoors not, not the best flattering picture but yeah you can see orange lights and then that's beautiful beautifully edited These aren't typically these aren't images I'd actually like really deliver, but um, so reset, lovely. So no cropping on that. I think mean, that looks quite nice. That's quite nice as well. Um, but it was originally like that, and then they've cropped in slightly. I mean, I'm very very happy at how much time this has potentially saved me um that image this image for example it would have looked like this i would have clicked my indoor preset and adjusted the exposure a bit of the white balance that's their edit that's bang that's perfect that's perfect so I'm looking forward to never having to edit ever again. As you can see, I haven't rendered the smart preview, so it takes a, a second, a split second to load up. Okay, so that's what it was before. That's the edit. Lovely. Typically in, um, in the evening, I just bounce flash. I don't really feel, I don't ever feel like I have time to set up lots of flashes. I don't feel like I ever have time to set up lots of flashes. So, yeah, that's a nice portrait, I suppose. Oh, so that's the original. That there, they've cropped in and it's got straight. And no, I actually like that version. And you can see the white balance is all the way up already, but it's dark outside. Chaos, chaos, original image. So it actually edits how I would edit at night time, which is quite handy. A uh, little bit of a kicker, lovely stuff. Let's see what it did in this random last photo I took. So that's the original. Let's see how noisy it is. I wonder if it's done any noise reduction. Oh, it has done some noise reduction. Surprising, not the image I'd particularly use from the, the wedding to showcase it as like a hero image, so to speak, but. So let's just have a couple of looks at the golf cart. So nice image and cropped in slightly and rotated. Nice. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this edits exactly how I would edit a wedding. Um, I've got no concerns whatsoever with this. They are going to bring it out soon and it will be a subscription model. So it will be a one-time fee for the year or a monthly fee moving forward, uh, just like the culling is right now. Um, there's also Imagine AI and I know that developer brought out their own AI software and I feel like the monthly subscription is much more manageable for me personally because of if I was going to use say Imagine AI in the summer of a wedding and I'll be so busy 
I just don't really want to see like a thousand dollars come out of my accounts personally. Um, if it's a manageable fee and I know what I'm going to be spending. Normally I did, would deliver about 900 photos um, depending on how long I'm there for. Um, I always feel like delivering more photos is um, quite important for me. Uh, because I take so many, normally I take about like 8,000, 8,000 on a wedding day anyway. So um, yeah, so moving forward, I'm really looking forward to seeing it. If you've got any suggestions of anything you want me to try out on this software, please let me know. And um, yeah, I will let you know when it's out. So if you do want to learn more about Aftershoot, specifically the culling side, uh, please just check out this video. I made it a while ago, but I'm probably going to be posting up an update soon.